Hi everyone, Phil here with Aviation Mechanic Tutoring. I had posed a question to everybody on Instagram asking what are the essential information needed to complete a 100 hour inspection logbook entry. Here is the answer. Following the format from this post, of course it's the AMT is performing the 100 hour inspection on the aircraft and it's going to be done at 100 hours of flight. This is just an example at 800 total aircraft flight hours that would be on the Hobbs meter for the aircraft and the airframe. It's done on January 18, 2024, today, where obviously this entry is in the maintenance logbook. Why? It's to prove compliance and ensure the airworthiness of the aircraft, of course. And a simple statement like this would suffice. It would say, 100 hour inspection performed in accordance with, here is your reference, FAR 14 CFR Part 43, Appendix D. That's where the 100-hour checklist is located. And then you need to have this statement. Aircraft is found to be in airworthy condition. Of course, you would sign it with your A&P license number. I put a little helpful note here. Do not forget to include your FAA-approved references from either the FAR, as you see here. The AC 4313-1B is an acceptable FAA-approved reference for any maintenance tasks performed on the aircraft and or the aircraft maintenance manual for that particular aircraft. These are all the basic components you would need for a write-up. This is a very important ACS skill that a lot of students seem to struggle with on their oral and practical. Knowing your basic information, having the correct reference is essential. Any questions, feel free to comment, reach out, DM me, email me. I'm here to help you guys keep studying, Stay tuned for more exclusive content such as this and have a great evening. Take care.